Google Help Out providers. Uh, <laughs> hello and welcome to Helpers Help Out. Just in case the intro got cut off, the weekly show for Google Help Out providers. My name is Sasha Chu. I'll be your host for today. Today is January 17, 2014. And in today's show, we're going to just, you know, instead of swapping a lot of tips, we're just going to share some success stories about uh, sharing help outs, using help outs, and so forth. So today our guest is Jeff Bond, who you might know from his posts in the, uh, the Help Outs Discuss community. But tell us a little bit about yourself, Jeff. You know, what's your life like in help? You know, who are you in terms of help outs and who are you outside help outs? Wonderful. Hi, Sasha. Thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. And uh, hello, everybody. Is uh, I'm a general contractor. I'm an engineer. I'm 25 years as a home inspector. I've helped people uh, make sure their families are safe in the homes that they buy. So this help out was a natural extension of what I've always done as a part of my career and job and just what I internally love to do. So uh, within help outs, I do general contracting and home inspection help outs within the home and building category. I've done about um, 50 help outs now. Wow, 50. That's quite a lot. And it's who are you <laughs> in the time outside of doing all those help outs? Yeah, I, uh, I'm a grandpa of two beautiful girls. I have uh, three wonderful children. My son Daniel is uh, recently employed by a large internet firm as a programmer. Very happy for him. Congratulations, Daniel. Uh, and I have two beautiful daughters who are studying to be teachers and nurses uh, currently at uh, Stanislaus State University. Awesome. So one of the things that I want to do with this episode is kind of give people a peek into, you know, how other people are, are experiencing help outs in terms of yeah. both, you know, offering it to their customers and also since you've been taking quite a few help outs yourself, what it's like and how it's really helping you with both your work and your and your life. So yeah. I'm gonna set up myself up to take notes here, but in the meantime, can you start by telling us a story of maybe of one of your recent help outs? What was it like, you know, in terms of helping the customer? What did the customer Customer, uh, achieve with your help? All right. Uh, well, I, I think one of the things that I appreciate most within these help outs is uh, the feeling that someone really is getting value out of it. Is So I helped um, uh, a gentleman from the inner city of New York. His name was Brandon M. And uh, he was a very young kid that had uh, a real desire and a passion to learn. So I spent 40 minutes with him in a free help out. And um, he asked lots of questions about becoming a home inspector uh, and took time to answer them all. He was very well prepared. He came, Sasha, with uh, notes and he really knew what he wanted to ask and he stayed focused and, and that helped motivate me to stay with him because I really felt that there was a value that was being provided to him. Um, he was organized and so, you know, he was a good student. If you don't want to learn, then you're not going to really be of much use in a help out. So, you know, maybe without this help out, is he doesn't get the questions answered. So I feel that this was free and you know possibly life changing for him. It was a great time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I guess before help outs, people would just have to do Google. Maybe they they know somebody who knows somebody who might give them five minutes on the phone, and how here's you know he's he's talking to somebody for 40 minutes and getting his questions answered. Uh, it, was, it made his day and his feedback was so short but just so kind is uh, it was kind man and um, uh. I, I was honored to to help him out. And, you know part of the thing is and I, Chris Hubble mentioned it uh, who's really a superstar help out provider also but is within that context of being a superstar he still has enough time to help kids and uh, I, I find that very admirable because they're our next generation of leaders, and so there's special cases that really just you feel good when you're done, and this was one of them. Mm -hmm. Hey, were the other what is it? Were the other stories that you can remember off the top of your head that same kind of I feel awesome about making this person's day? Well, uh, yeah, there's a guy that had a toilet problem where his toilet was leaking. <laughs> And uh, I, I helped them make it stop flowing water onto his floor. I think that that was a pretty good moment is uh, because he had made a phone call, Sasha, and he wasn't going to get anybody for uh, over two hours to come and help. So he just panicked and got online, went to help outs, and I said, dude, I got you covered. Absolutely. You could draw a little shutoff valve down there at the back. And it was that simple. I just helped him turn a valve off. And uh, that made an amazing difference for him. Mm -hmm. So it's that kind of instant help that was one of the, the key selling points that Google Help Outs was, was uh, really advertising back then, right? 
definitely is. is the uh, the immediacy of it is really important, and then sometimes it's just it takes just a spark to start a fire. So sometimes it takes just a moment of help to stop a fire. And so yeah, is it, it's real instant, and sometimes really uh, immediately of in intense value. Mm -hmm. So are these people coming in because they already know you from your website or fr from other interactions? Are they coming in because they saw, you know, that their toilet is overflowing and they and they saw you on help outs? Well, I none of these people really I know from my prior business is uh, that's another aspect of what I want to explore with help outs. But these are all people that just either find me organically through Google search or do a search on help outs. I'm a free provider, so I think. A lot of people are still exploring this and feeling it out, and I think they don't want to necessarily just immediately test their money on something, so they find some free providers and they use us as a little bit of a sounding board. But uh, mm -hmm. for the most part, is there um, people I've never talked to before? Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that would be nice was um, is, and David Kutcher mentioned it, is the the analytics. I'd like to have a better look at the actual search phrases and the search words that uh, people use to to find me but um, I've done a good job I think of putting keywords into my listing that talk to the problems that people have and so when they search for their problem I think that they find those keywords in my listing and I think that helps um, connect that person with me Mm hmm So that's kind of the, you know, the zoomed in all the way to the level of individual stories view of it. Uh, I know that you've been talking to quite a few other help out providers about well, the kinds of successes they're experiencing as well. Could you share some of the stories that really uh, stuck out for you? What were the particularly memorable stories you've heard? Oh, um, you know, Kelly Stroak, uh, she's amazing. She's just a young, energetic, uh, just a wonderfully bright person and she talked about how uh, a young boy 13 or so contacted her. Her help out is about healthy eating and just being nutritious and um, for goodness sakes this guy was afraid to go on vacation because he was uncomfortable with the way he looked and uh, while well, Kelly really gave him some wonderful advice and I was really I was inspired by youth because she just told him to be himself and, and to be happy and to go and have a good time. He's a young kid and just enjoy your life. You can learn better eating habits. We can work on it, but go have a good time. It's, you know, She struck me as like being the big sister you'd always want to have if you're a little kid. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was really inspirational to hear that. Uh, you know, I mentioned Chris Hubble. Yeah. Chris has, um, he's got hundreds um, of five-star ratings. He's probably one of the top help out providers and it's just amazing to see him still provide free help uh, and then not only that but still stay focused on the little guy. It's, it's his story of helping like young kids with their computer problems was pretty amazing and, and it makes me think probably that these poor kids, they got set up by their parents who were afraid and embarrassed to ask Chris so they tell, you go tell him man. Hey, you know what? You go ask Chris what's going on. And, and he handles it really well, so I, I applaud that. Uh, yeah. And then El Michelle Hayes, did you hear about her help out? She was involved in a conference uh, in India. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, bring, yeah, bringing e learning into classrooms for places and children that have never had this opportunity before. So that really was inspirational. It shows that this whole thing is worldwide um, and you know it, it portrays America in a good light finally it's nice to kind of like see people talk about all the good things that we do in a good positive manner so you know it ultimately makes the world a better place mm -hmm. education uh, and it, absolutely course, not just making America look good but all sorts of other providers are from all sorts of other places too so that's wonderful it really is. It's just when you start to realize is, is that here's somebody in Michigan and here's somebody in Florida and here's somebody in California and we're all focused on the same thing of providing that help. That that's it it, it just makes it so much larger than life and, and brings it into the home that um, is and you know, it can't help but appreciate the ability for Google to bring this platform and make it available because it it really is amazing technology. Mm -hmm. Let's take a step back and, and tell me how you're using it for your professional goals too. What, what does it mean for your business? You know, how does that success uh, you know, reflect in that too? Um, 
Yeah, uh, you can ask some good questions tonight, are you? <laughs> All <laughs> right. Um, I, it, it's it's done a couple things for me, Sasha. Is it's really uh, helped improve my customer service level. Is mm -hmm. uh, this whole rich environment where I can take and, and bring up um, pictures and share them with people and illustrations? It's just so rich that is it's improved my service level. Also, uh, may I mention my website? Yeah, sure. Cool. Sorry, I dropped my pen. But what I did was is I went and I secured househelpout.com, mm -hmm. and so that just directly relates and links directly to my um, Google Helpout. How sweet is that? Mm -hmm. um, I it it's allowed me to take control of my schedule. I do all of my customer service return calls with my existing business right now through help out so mm -hmm. instead of taking some cheesy phone call and some guys going I got a problem with my toilet and then he's got to explain it and try to verbalize it is I say look at my schedule on help outs come over here schedule a help out get your cell phone show me your problem with your cell phone is use that camera feature where I can talk to you and then you hit flip and then you can point that right at the problem Move that camera a little over here. Yeah, move it here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, there's your problem. Okay, now let me look at you. I want to talk to you. Let's go ahead <laughs> and discuss your problem. Is um, it, it really is that richness? It allows me to provide better service. Um, and you know, I can take now as these people would call me at ten o'clock at night, and I'd like to help everybody all the time. But <laughs> <laughs> once in a while, you want a little. And so what I do now is I've kind of taken control of my schedule. Is uh, if that's right, Sasha. If uh, if I don't have a scheduled help out time, then guess what? Is you're gonna have to call me when um, you get a chance, and it's on my schedule. So it's taken my life back a little bit, and let me control the schedule. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So that's how Health House is really helping you with your business and your business goals. Another thing you've been mm -hmm. sharing with us, Jeff, is how you've you've actually been uh, been taking advantage of Health House yourself to learn things. You've been the customer <laughs> of many, many Health House. Yeah. What are some of the things that you've been learning from that experience? Sure. Yeah. I uh, hey Google, go ahead and check it out. I'm sure it'll, I'm one of the top 100 Health House customers here. Is uh, if, if I can't, Sasha, if I can't believe in something. I'm not going to do it, and I put my money where my mouth is, is and that's not as a means of uh, trying to validate it, but it's more, I believe in it. So I've talked to some amazing people, and I've learned one thing is just go find the experts, and if they're charging for the help outs, there's a reason. They're really good at what they do, and sometimes you just have to take back to that adage, you get what you pay for, and it doesn't mean that free help outs are not worth it. I'm a free help out, and I'm amazing. <laughs> but is that doesn't really necessarily always equate to quality or not. But when somebody can command a hundred dollar price tag for help out and can get it, you probably have a really good provider. Um, so I've talked to Larry Fornelier. He's amazing, chef Sasha, and he's mm -hmm. a friend. Is a million followers on Google Plus, and you just you feel all of a sudden that you're they're talking to him. So I've cooked. Um, chicken curry with them. I've cooked a Caribbean turkey glaze and uh, I've made a stew fish recipe with him and oh. uh, yeah in the meantime we've talked about fun things you had a good time including hey Larry by the way if you're listening is he, he's burned pe plenty of towels so in the kitchen that's part <laughs> of the hazard you, you just you talk about people like that. I talked to Ronnie Bincer um, about hangouts on air is something that we're using right now and something mm -hmm. that you basically are using as a part of help outs and he was amazing also wow he gave me tons of very savvy tips and tricks and uh, sorry. Sorry, shortcuts that? that's was... Ronnie Bincer it's Ronnie how do you spell that again sorry yep no R worries it's R-O-N-N-I-E N-N-I-E okay and people and can find him is, yeah. Yeah, yeah Bincer B-I-N-C-E-R Yeah. Okay, so hang on. Definitely search and find him. Is He gives you shortcuts to real solutions. Uh, Stefan Bollinger is uh, an amazing photographer. He takes portraits. So just like everybody knows, Trey Ratcliffe with uh, HDR landscape is, uh, wow, Stefan Bollinger, faces, not places. This guy, 
Go look. Okay, at spell. His, yeah, S T E P H. P H. A N. And his last name is Bollinger. B O L L E N G E R. Stefan Bollinger. E N A N. Sorry. You got it right there, Sasha. Okay. That's perfect. Yep. And um, wow, is I didn't talk with him a moment about f stop shutters, focal distance, it, it wasn't that. It was more about the passion, the inspiration is where does your creativity within Help Outs come from because his uh, mm. portraits are amazing, Sasha. So I didn't explore the technical side with him is he knows it's important but he also knows that it's about people first, just like Help Outs. And then mm. you use the technology to enhance that person experience. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. And do you know Alan Furstenberg? Uh, experience? No, I, I have to, clearly I had to go check out for help us. Uh, <laughs> nah, tell, yeah. tell us the yeah. story of why you like Alan. Well, Alan Furstenberg is uh, a developer and uh, he's independent, but he's involved in Google Glass. So I also, by the way, okay, Glass, take a picture. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, Alan uh, has given me a good head start in doing some program development for Google Glass, and he also yeah. is uh, developing a software application for Glass called Voodoo, which I'm beta testing with him, and it turns out that it lets me do my home inspection job much better, is I can take pictures and notes and have them automatically sent to my Google Drive right through Glass mm -hmm. immediately in real time. I can have somebody back at the office type in the report, real time and so is working with him has given me a chance to um, learn a little bit more about the technology so uh, and then uh, I had a help out with uh, an amazing person about taking notes she who, <laughs> she who shall remain nameless <laughs> uh, but you could have an idea and she taught me a lot just about how taking notes allows me to gather my thoughts and organize them and move them around so I can operate with them more efficiently. So, uh, But she told me to use a voice recorder <laughs> and uh, I'm not going to do that. I decided not to. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, it's cool because I'm going to use glass instead. So oh yeah, so. hey, of course. Uh, uh. <laughs> with Alan Persenberg's Voodoo software. So, um, it, it, But that person, whoever it was, that shall remain nameless. Um, <laughs> <laughs> got me thinking about that, and uh, and you know I, your your screen sharing. Otherwise, we could enjoy your smiley face right now. <laughs> so um, yeah, is those so some of the things that's happened, and it it's part of um, getting help. Yeah, I think it's it's really good to share these stories because sometimes you know yeah. I mean people leave feedback. Uh, you know, it's great to get five stars and you get this kick out of of helping somebody. But it's also different when you hear the kinds of of things that people appreciate about the the, the help that that people offer. And it's also different when you're when you're thinking about oh hey you know this is actually a really good platform and people are making great connections through this. Amazing connections, you know. Um just is you're you're learning uh, look Sasha this is really amazing I talked to Larry Fornelier I mm -hmm. talked to Ronnie Benzer, Stefan Bollinger and, and these guys are experts in their field but it's almost like you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them in the living room normally <laughs> Stefan would have um, 200 people at a photography seminar and he'd probably make good money on all them and people would sit in the back of the room and they would kind of see him up there and, and that would be about it and it wouldn't be very personal. Man, these help outs are personal and they really connect. Is The, the conversation I had with him was um, inspiring and amazing. So, you know, you get that one-on-one -on -one feel and it feels real personal and it's like a fireside chat. It's, it's a great experience. Yeah, awesome. just like that. That is it right there. <laughs> is you, Sasha? You just feel just like that. That's really amazing to think about that he's in Australia um, and I'm in California. Mm -hmm. And you feel that connection. That 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 really helps, um, I think, express just the power of this platform and the potential that's here to change lives. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I hear that too. So tell me, you know, since since uh, clearly Google Hangout, uh, Google Hangouts is really doing well for you, Jeff. How would you, you know, how are you thinking of making it even more part of your life, your business, or whatever? What What are the next steps for you? Okay. Um, yeah, because it's, uh, that's a good question. Is is when I came in here, I really came just honestly with the intentions of providing help to people and giving back and. Uh, I didn't really look at it as a business aspect thing. Um, I just also agreed, you know, I'm going to help out Google here in testing and beta this platform. I'm going to be a good user and I'm going to provide good feedback. I, I am signing up for this and volunteering, so I'm going to be a good volunteer. That was really my only initial motivations, but I've just come to start to realize that there's, whether I like it or not, a tie in and a benefit and everybody wins. So, um, you know, I want to. Just work on improving my communication skills more. I want to be more comfortable talking to people in these um, video chat modes as opposed to on the phone where I can kind of hide behind the phone. <laughs> um, well, to be fair, yeah. I am hiding behind my notes at the moment. So. <laughs> yeah, right, Sasha. But in a way, we all hide behind things yeah, as a yeah. way of kind of um, protecting ourselves from our, our fears and none of us are perfect we all have things that make us uneasy so I find that this uh, video conference it, it puts you out here and so it forces you to address that so I, I want to work on that some more I want to work on also uh, just getting a broader range of skills I actually want to talk to a lot more help out providers and uh, broaden my knowledge and, and gather all their intelligence you know there's a thousand uh, providers and all experts in their field that that is a rich rich environment in, in which to learn and so if you're a help out provider you really should be talking to these other providers because they have tons of information that's just waiting to be released and all you have to do is ask so I want to encourage um, providers to try out uh, some help outs as well is is it's um, amazingly fun and at the same time developmental to I think assist in helping you provide a better help out as you get experience in them mm -hmm. so that's what that sounds like one of your kind of tips for the help out providers who are listening to this live and who are listening to it maybe later as a replay it one of your tips from what I hear is go and check out the other help outs do you have uh, any tips for them for the kind of if you know if you're the one providing the help how do you get this to be more successful for you how do you get more of these great experiences well um, okay I think the first thing that everyone should do immediately if you're a provider is go secure a premium uh, website right now where's your kitty I want to see your kitty Sasha is, <laughs> is if you're um, if you're a knitting provider, then go get uh, knittinghelpout.com right now before these things start getting um, taken up, and um, start using it immediately to build long-term brand value. Is mm -hmm. if you know if your Home Depot they're running brand Red Beacon and they're promoting that brand. If you're a single person, then you're still a brand. You're just branding yourself. So don't brand your name. Find something that speaks to what you do, and then find a premium name a .com. Go get it and have that thing point directly to your help out. So um, what I do is I have househelpout.com, and that points directly to my um, help out on uh, helpouts.google.com, and I think that's amazing. And um, do that forever. So I'm building long-term value in the brand house help out dot com. Mm -hmm. Okay, ah. so you know what? We've got a we've got a fairly uh, nice small group here. I'm going to take a chance mm -hmm. here. I'm going to actually invite everyone in. So let me actually first let me conclude the uh, formal portion of the helpers. Hey, help Sasha. <laughs> yes. I would mention one other thing too. Oh yeah. Um, take your if you're going to create that brand househelpout.com or whatever you're going to use. Um, um, helpershelpout.com and then print it on the back of your business card mm -hmm. and and then give out your business card and say hi I'm Jeff and you know here's my company business card and if you ever need help right here on the back you can find me here and you're starting to tie together your physical brick and mortar business whatever it is you do with your help out and you're tying the two together forever and creating that link 
and that connection mm-hmm. between your physical business and help outs and one is building and supporting on the other so the two become synergistically um, you know great just um, support for each other Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, so with that, I have just pasted in the URL of this Hangout on Air into the event. If you're watching awesome. the streaming video, you should see it back uh, back at the event. You can also go to helpershelpout.com slash live uh, and go to the first link that's shared under the video. And that means that if you want to, you can join us and chat and share your own stories here. Awesome. Uh, while we're waiting for people to join us if they're interested, thank you so much, Jeff, for sharing your stories. You know, it's always a lot of fun hearing how other people are experiencing this and and what people are getting out of it. Maybe it'll inspire other people to keep on going. And we, uh, as uh, as a number of other new providers have just joined us, maybe it'll inspire them to go and and invest the time in both giving help outs and and uh, asking for help. I gotta agree with you, Sasha. Is is that the more you participate, the more you're going to get out of it, and I think the more you're going to enjoy it. So. Um, I do encourage people to explore the other providers and continue as uh, exploring help outs. It, uh, it's straight one of those things that what you put into it is what you get out of it. Okay, okay, so folks who are listening, again, if you want to join us, there should be a URL down there. Theoretically, if you copy and paste that into your browser, it should work and then you should join us. Alternatively, you can uh, pop in a comment there and I'll invite you to the chat. There you go. Sometimes there's about a 30 to 40 second delay before they see that's that, right. you, Sasha. So, um, and that's yeah. probably part of the Hangouts platform. And Ramon is here, so it actually works. Okay, so that means everything Excellent. is good. Okay, awesome. I'm, all right. Uh, in this case, we are back to your regular hanging out sort of thing. Yep, yeah, awesome. Ramon, uh, would you like to unmute yourself and share some of your success stories? Maybe not. I saw him for a second. Well, he joined. <laughs> yeah, I still am muted here. Oh yeah. Mm. So, uh, I'll, 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 blah, blah, blah. yeah. I'll turn okay. in just a moment. <laughs> I hear. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I'd love to hear other people's stories. And again, if you're listening to this live and you want to join in, just go to the Google event page for this. Again, you can find that at helpershelpout.com slash live. Uh, and join us following the link underneath the video. Yeah, Oves, Epsar, come on in and say hi. Um, it's been a while since I've seen you. Hope you're doing well, my friend. I know that um, Graham might be here also. Graham, are you available? And I see also Timothy Kenny. Uh, oh, and I want to do a special shout out to Oves, who has been very, very helpfully typing in correct spellings for all these names that I've been quickly copying into the graph. So this he, uh, this is great. He has, and uh, let me just check on his spelling. It is um, Oves. You're um, that's a hundred percent beautiful. You got them all perfect. That always makes me so nervous because names are so important to people, and when I'm yeah. writing, sometimes I switch letters around, and I'm like, oh. Uh, Sasha, you yeah. don't know. Is when I do house inspections, it's all on the line, and it's all about you. When you misspell the name, it's just so embarrassing. Yeah. Is absolutely you know that. Hey, Graham, how are you? Did a uh, cameraman everyone to mute? No, no, they can be joined. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. All right, here we go. What I need to do is also make sure that uh, everyone's cool. Everyone's showing up. No, okay, yes, okay, yes. Sorry, I'll stop fiddling with the technology now. <laughs> Everybody's muted. Do you have control over that, or do they have to unmute? Well, we can't make them talk if they don't want to. Uh, but for, for people enough. who are listening in the pod, uh, on the podcast, the reason why this is slightly unusual is because we haven't actually had this kind of open, all right, folks, you can come in, the door is open, come in and hang out and tell your story before. <laughs> Normally, uh, at, we just managed to come up with tons of material. But, you know, stories are stories, and it's always so much fun to hear other people's stories, too. So yeah, from around the world, there's Graham. Hi, Graham. How are we doing? Doing well, thank you. Hope everything's That's good. Cool. Yeah, you're in England. London, is it? It is indeed, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it yeah. is some really, really early hour in the morning for you, so thank <laughs> you so much for dialing in live for this. That's why I'm in the dark. 
<laughs> what have health paths been like for you, Graham? Um, I'll be honest. Um, <clears throat> I sort of repair computers and things uh, for a living, and in that field, as you know, geeks hide secrets. There are simple things you can do, but they take a lot of learning. And it's not something you want to leak to the public via help outs. You know, you bring me a broken laptop, I will sort it. If you're not happy with the price, you don't pay a penny. If you are repair it, I know I've got a very happy customer base. So to me, there's a lot of things, see, that are trade secrets, basically, and you can't let them out. You know, it's just, you just, it's just not worth, it's not your business more. Mm -hmm. So there's certain things Help Outs is very good at. It's very good at teaching, coaching. Uh, I've heard a lot of it, nutrition, lifestyle. But when it comes down to geeky things, no. It doesn't <laughs> work. It just doesn't work. <laughs> wow. Um, well, uh, have, so have you been experimenting with other things then that actually work with it? Or are you looking around for other examples or, or other strategies at the moment? Um, I mean, no, it's very simple strategy. My strategy is basically, um, I'm a local company. I am only work for myself. Um, let me just turn the lights up a bit so you can see me. That, that's worse. <laughs> there um, it is. <laughs> so it, 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 it's actually better, Graham. You're fine. Do I turn it down again? <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. And, um, no, I mean, it's like I've been working with Windows 8 um, lately, and there's... Things like the F8 function missing and little things like that that are very important that, you know, I know, but I'm not going to be advertising the fact. You know, it's like, well, I can get it to boot in safe mode to networking prom, and you can't. And, of course, to me, that's money. And that's where yeah. it stops. Well, you know, you mentioned, you mentioned um, also local market. Um, and, Graham, I had a thought on that is, is on the... Uh, when you're on Help Out's platform and you start to do a search for, you can search on a drop down by top reputation or best match or yeah. next available. But what might be really nice is to have another little drop down in it that says um, providers closest to me. And mm -hmm. since Google would know our physical location, yeah. and as long as you share your location with your browser, it could do a calculation and go, hey, you know what? Yeah. Um, this guy has 500 stars but this guy has 50 and he's only 20 miles away, it might match up that localism. So I, I think there's things that still need to be done to the platform mm. and, and make it richer. But um, I think a lot of that local market is going yes. to be coming to help outs. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, sorry sorry to interrupt, but you know, Google has been aiming now for you know, a long time at localization. Yeah. It's only yeah. relevant locally. If I want a pizza... I'm not going to go to Heathrow Airport, <laughs> take a seven and a half hour flight into NYC to get the no. best pizza in the world. It's <laughs> not going <laughs> to <laughs> Yeah, it just doesn't work in the real world. And, you yeah. know, that is where Google needs to polish up its localization. You know, it's, it's difficult. It's, it's, you know, a very t it's a very tough nut yeah. to crack, is, is, is yeah. matching up and marrying a local supplier with a local demand is uh, the million dollar marketing and uh, advertising question. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, um, who knows what we'll see on, uh, on Google's roadmap. Uh, it, actually, I want to go back to Timothy Kenny's question here. It, he was wondering whether they announced ahead of time which help out categories will be featured next. I have no idea, um, but sometimes you might see interesting uh, posts in the Help Outs Discuss community, if you check there, when uh, when Maria or other official Google people post, sometimes they're asking for suggestions for Help Outs or, or, uh, or things that might be related to a theme that will be featured soon. So yeah, we'll but see. it's a good question, and if you go to uh, the main Help Outs page at helpouts.google.com, yeah. And then if you look at the menu along the left, it starts with art, music, computers, cooking. You can definitely see there's room for another five or six categories in there. So there, there's more coming. Uh, I would like to see some outdoor fitness type of mm. things, that backpacking, camping, um, maybe more just kind of um, Ironman, triathlete, bicycling, uh, possibly as a category. But um, 
that's just my wish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, coaching. I, mean, I have to interrupt just shortly, but uh, going on that comment, I live opposite a park in front of me. <laughs> when I see Iron Man working out, a 70-year-old man being bullied <laughs> by some young fifth bird, it's just not right. You know? <laughs> I'm giving him £100 for half an hour. <laughs> and the poor bloke's going to be in his grave within a year. <laughs> it's a good visual. Yeah. All right. Hey, Ramon, are you are you uh, around now? Do you want to share a story? Let's. Um. Um, yeah, actually, I'm here. I'm I'm actually just wanting to listen in because oh, I'm, sure, cool. I'm having such a great time listening in, and I was thinking, you know, what could I what could I actually share in terms of a of a specific success story. There, there's a whole bunch of different things happening. I think that uh, Graham was making a really good point, um, and it probably goes to how do you decide what you're going to share versus what you're not going to share and what in your business is appropriate. And I was having a conversation uh, with a client this week where we were talking about that, and one of the things we landed on was thinking about the all of the various little steps in what it is you do. So if you were sitting down with a beginner in, in whatever it is, what would you tell them first? What would you tell them second? What would you tell them third, fourth, so on and so forth, going from beginner to intermediate to advanced, and that help outs are likely, are likely best for that, that beginner basics and also answering questions. And in the case, for example, from a technical perspective, I've heard many people say, it's for solving those immediate pressing uh, problems that, that people have. And I think we talked about this in our last conversation, is that um, there are distinct categories of people, for example, that are utilizing help outs. There are people like me who are coming from more of the, the life coaching advice world perspective, and then there are people that are operating more from the technical help perspective. And I think it's a completely different um, it's a completely different reality for both types of people. So I was really excited to hear uh, Graham's perspective as a technical person and, and, and drawing that distinction about what he would share versus, you know, sort of holding certain things uh, close to the breast because they are trade secrets, so to speak. So mm -hmm. I'm just having a great time being here. So. <laughs> I, bef before I let you off the hot chair, actually, I want to dig into one of the things that you said, because you you're coming at this with a lot of experience in life coaching. And I was wondering, as you started you know, having these sessions on, uh, on health outs, whether you've, you've noticed any difference or is the interaction the same? What kind of, you know, what are you starting to understand about health outs as being, a, a, this, you know, as, as being health outs? Well, the, probably the biggest lesson that I've learned is that uh, you want to position the help out so that there's a specific outcome within the conversation that the client sees as beneficial. Um, I think that's really important. Like it's better to focus on one thing versus and 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 they they see and value that one thing versus having five things. Also. I think we actually talked about this before. Another thing that I've learned is to leverage the frequently asked questions or the help out description to make sure that you're focusing the client in a way that helps them get started in the help out and it's not just you talking. Because I don't think help outs are for teaching people things. I think I think that's that's hangouts and it's other other um, other media uh, or vehicles. I think I think that help outs for me at least is in a very focused way having a conversation with someone where they get a real benefit, uh, they get an insight, they get some understanding that they walk away and they feel like wow okay I was helped and now I'm ready for the next step, the next you know so on and so forth. Um, that's been a huge lesson um, mm -hmm. that I've noticed. And I also notice that people don't know the questions to ask. You've got to give them the questions. Like, don't assume that they know what to ask you. And so I think that's why that frequently asked questions 
um, in the in the in the discussion is so useful because yeah. they kind of don't know what they don't know. That's a really good point, Ramon. It's just you know when I walk into my doctor and I'm getting a physical checkup, is I'm just walking in there. And he starts like you know poking in my ear, and he starts putting a stethoscope on my like chest, and I'm like, hey, why aren't you looking at my knee? My knee hurts. And he goes, if you told me that first, Jeff, I would have known to focus there. So is right is guiding these people in the right directions is is really important. I gotta agree. Is you gotta coach them, and guide them, and help them get to the answers that they they don't quite know how to ask, but that are what they really need to have answered. And here I'm going to plug Ramon's excellent uh, tips uh, that, shared, that he shared in the last episode of awesome. HelpersHelpOut.com slash five. So if you go to HelpersHelpOut.com slash five, you will find all of those tips there in the podcast and in the, in the sketch. Okay, thank you for joining us. Would you like to share your story? Uh, I'm, I'm not even sure if I'm in, but I guess You're I am in. somehow. You're in, my friend. We're all hearing you. I made it. I made it. <laughs> well, that's it. You have a good night. <laughs> yeah. That's actually, to be honest with you, that is my story. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's true. Google Chrome does that work. That is my story. That is my great story. I made it. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Thank you very much. But <laughs> I'm I'm glad that I could join in. <laughs> of course, of course. So, what 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 have help outs been like for you? Have you had any particularly great moments connecting with customers or being a customer yourself? You're talking. Are you asking me? Yes. I have had very few help outs, and I have had some many hits and misses because of my name. I get. Uh, people from all over the world and because it's free but uh, I rarely connect because I suspect most of the people who are trying to get to me uh, do not have uh, the wherewithal to go through the plugins and stuff mm -hmm. that you need to get through and I have not had that answer to this question which is when a person who is completely novice and is calling me somewhere from Indonesia because I have a funny name and they have a funny name and then they they have never used Google or, or they don't even have Gmail but they saw help outs in Google search and now they're trying to contact me you know what hoops they have to go through and I suspect there are a few and that's where I'm not making any connections I have a lot of uh, you know uh, failures because people just don't even know how to get into G plus or uh, to put in the plugin or whatever it is that you would need to do I would I would really like to hear one of these brilliant people here tell me as a complete novice you know nothing you're sitting in Africa and all you have is Google search and you found help out what are the obstacles Who's got a success tip for Ovase? Um, I do, but um, it, it sounds embarrassingly simple. Uh, and it almost sounds like kind of a, a sales pitch for Google, but get a Chromebook and run Pixel or, and, and Chrome. <laughs> Look, I it, it's amazing. I see people with um, all sorts of setups. They have these boom microphones, and I no longer feel like I'm even talking to the person. I feel like I'm talking to a microphone. <laughs> and then I'm like, how you doing, Mike? And he goes, my name's Bob. And I said, no, I'm talking to your microphone. <laughs> if Mike would just move out of the way, I could talk to you, Bob. So um, Ovasis, I think my best recommendation is simplify. Simple, simple, simple. Less things to go wrong. Um, and could, so uh, I don't know if we can. I can interrupt you, but you sure you you're not interrupting. Okay, go ahead. Then uh, let me let me just make sure I ask my question more clearly. Mm -hmm. What I'm asking is, someone from a remote place who only has a Google search engine and has found help out, and within the help out is now trying to connect with me. Mm -hmm. They do not know G plus. They have not put in a plugin. They have done nothing. How? What what are the one or two or three things 
that that person would need to do or how would I you know even contact them mm -hmm. Obeys, here's probably what I would try I would steer them just to helpouts.google.com and then I would tell them just to simply take and type your name Ovase O V A I S into the search box and what that's going to do is it's going to immediately bring up your help outs that's helping seniors with computers smartphones and handheld devices which lets them find you so right, maybe but, but, but don't you have don't they have to uh, do something after that in order to get the thing going there's a plug-in yeah hmm. but then this might be Ovase where you take and use your listing as um, an opportunity to do a little bit of education of your um, for your client so they understand that so for example on my help out it actually says if you need to install the plugin right here and then if you want to run a test with Google um, help out staff is test right here so those are just the two things I put to include them in my listing to help guide them to steer them just like Ramon was saying to um, help them get the help they need Okay. Awesome. Have the, do yeah. they have to be? May, may I just quickly ask another question? Sure. Do they have to be a member of Google? Do they have to be registered in Google Plus? What if they are not part of Google Plus? What happens then? My understanding is that a Google Plus account is not required. Um, I think that's how it works. Uh, so uh, the other thing that well the, the thing that I find helpful is I, I just I refer people to the Google official Google help outs help out so that way Google can deal with all the technical issues <laughs> okay well I, I, I'm gonna stop asking questions I'm gonna stop talking in a minute I just want to make a comment that the problem we have is that everybody here is so much of an expert that we're not really seeing the problem mm -hmm. of the person who simply has a Google search engine. He is not. He doesn't have a Gmail account. He doesn't know anything about G+. He does. He knows nothing. All he knows is yeah. Go ahead. I'm listening now. Go ahead. I, I see somebody wanting to say something. Um. Yes. I mean, um, one of the yeah. biggest, uh, yeah. one one of the biggest hurdles of Google Plus. Um, here in the UK, outside of the US, I'll say, um, is that people need a Google wallet. And people outside of the US, you folks have got it good, Google wallet in the US is a standard form of payment. Whereas, you know, outside of the US, if I go walk down the road and I ask 10 people, do you have a Google wallet? Just a quick question: Do you have a Google Wallet? Yes or no? I don't want to. I don't want to discuss what you're eating or whatever. Just tell me yes or no. And they'll go a Google, a Google. No, I'm, no, no, no. My wallet's in my trousers. Uh, we call them trousers, not pants. Um, and um, you know, they look at you and walk away. And that's where, as a provider, there is no money opportunity at the moment outside of the US for Google Wallet because you've got PayPal. PayPal rule Europe. The Amazon, eBay, they're all Central European and they rule. I use it every day. I use PayPal, I use eBay. I don't really use Amazon like you folks. See, and that's why Google needs to concentrate. They need to buy Amazon.com. <laughs> and that's going to cost you folks. You're going to have to buy it. Make it work. Graham, Graham, if I may, if I may. Yes. Yeah. I'm actually going one step before you. Forget it, Wallet. I'm I'm I'm, allow, I'm giving you a free service. How do you get to the first base? Mm -hmm. We're not talking second base and third base. And some people are working on getting to home plate. I'm talking <laughs> first base. People who try to contact me don't get anywhere. And that's mm -hmm. my question that has not never been answered. Okay. Oh, no, let, let, let me answer this. Let me answer this, please, folks. Um, it's simple, right? Google as is over complex at the moment. It's not across different devices and platforms smoothly. It doesn't work. I'll give you an example of Google's stupidity. Sorry, but I'll say it. Absolute stupidity. As of about 26 hours ago, they cut out Gmail Notifier. It might seem small. It's not. It's a very big mistake. 
A lot of people use it. They use it in business because it's got an audio notification. As soon as you get an email, we all know that responding quickly is a key to getting a customer. And because it never came out of beta, and I never understand this one, it's been 10 years, I think, something like that, something stupid in beta. Why not just leave well alone? People enjoy it. You go on Twitter and you type in Gmail notifier and have a look for yourselves if you don't believe me. People aren't happy, and I'm one of them. All right, so what I'm hearing here is that although, you know, some people are starting to really enjoy the, the successes of, of Help Out, it's still got a long way to go before it reaches either the mainstream, as Oves is running into, you know, all these people who may not be the alpha of their, of their, you know, community or even their family. They're like, what on earth is this? I just want some help. It needs a long way to go to, to be simple enough for everyone to use. And also, it's got to move beyond U.S. It's got to move beyond, you know, if, if, if you want uh, people to be able to, to make businesses out of this in the UK and Australia and elsewhere, it's got to have that widespread adoption of things like Google Wallet or maybe alternative pay payment models. So who knows? You know, we're pretty we're, we're still pretty early in terms of the platform's life, um, but who knows where it'll go? Yes, Sasha, you got it absolutely in one. Now it's got work to go. It's it's good. It's going to work, but it's going to take a lot of work. Mm. Is what I would say. It's not here. It's not done and dusted, it's the beginning. Right. And I think, I guess, because there's there's a lot of work ahead, and both a lot of work in terms of Google, and a lot of work also for us as we, you know, we deal with technical issues, or we figure out how to connect with customers, or we, you know, figure out all these things that come as part of a growing system, then sharing these, both the success stories and the challenges, and, and, and of course the workarounds around those challenges wherever they exist, can do a long way to keeping that, that community growing instead of, say, everyone giving up and going somewhere else. Uh, on a completely unrelated note, although you had something to say, so I will do that first before I do the unrelated note. <laughs> okay, um, and this isn't a down point. Um, I mean, I love everything that Google does, and you folks do it better than anyone. You know, you innovate, you, you push things to the limit, but I will say one thought that ran through my mind earlier today was there was a website called uh, RIP Google or something, which is how many projects that Google, they initiate, you're very good at making things, you're not very good at polishing them. Mm. Well, that might be a part of just the open source um, versus the closed company, you know, as Graham, I've thought about that a lot and really is one thing is that Google throws a lot of experimental things out here and lets people play with them um, yeah. in a but then you know you get a much lower cost basis. I don't think you'll hear anybody complain about what it costs to get Gmail, especially for the service you provide, because it's amazing for free. So there's a level of okay, yeah. that's part of the environment. And then you take the opposite extreme, like an Apple. They polish everything, and you never even see it until it's perfected after seven years in the office. But then when it comes out, it's good and it's simple, maybe. But you know what? You pay for it. And it's a very close environment that they provide. So mm -hmm. it, it's it's a tale of open source versus um, certain extent uh, closed private development. I mm -hmm. well, one, well, one thing I one, can I just quickly sorry to interrupt, but one thing I'll say quickly is one thing I noticed today with Google Chrome, and a lot of people don't understand, is the App Store. And I thought they're starting to head the way of Apple, closing it. You know, you've got to keep control of what software is on your platform. With Windows, they made a bad mistake from the offset. Anyone can write, anyone can have their code put into an operating system. And Apple have been very clever. They have. They've gone, well, you, Jeff, you write a program, give it to me. I'm going to look at it. If it's okay, it's going to be on my device. That's fine. Yeah, and we're happy together. And that's the problem with the whole Microsoft thing. Nothing to do with Google. Google need to do the same thing with the App Store and scrutinize every new Chrome app that goes in and go, yay or nay, and work with the developers and go, the reason I've rejected it, Jeff, is because it breaks this code. You're not allowed to get geolocation without a prompt to tell people. Put that in, I'll put it live. Simple. 
All right, and this is where I drag it back to help out <laughs> and bring us Here, back on topic. You, yes, go ahead. Can I jump in and, and say something? Of course. I think that um, you know, I think there's a there's a great deal of of conversation that I've heard over the last I would say month or so about about help outs and um, and and the current limitations. And I think one of the things that we get to do as providers is uh, find the thing that ultimately works for us. I think a part of this is is there's something about this that you can make work. And I think these conversations that we're having can help bring us bring each of us to the point where we say, okay, what's the one thing that we can leverage help outs uh, for in the context of our individual businesses? And I think that as we find that, what's going to happen is there's going to be more help outs that are happening. It's going to, it's going to uh, get more so on the radar of Google in terms of priorities. And, and I think some amazing things can begin to happen. I mean, I, I, I think about uh, the, earlier, the earlier conversation about, well, how do I make this work? People are contacting me from all over the, all over the world. Well, I think you're doing, um, uh, obvious, are you doing uh, technology for seniors? That's right. Yeah. So my 65-year-old mother uh, just got an iPad, okay? <laughs> and, and, and she needs that help out desperately. <laughs> In fact, uh, I am her default help out 24-7. <laughs> Okay. So I, I think there's so, a huge actually, market. I'm going to interrupt. You're, what you're saying is you you need that help out for her desperately. <laughs> I think that's what – that might be it, Sasha. <laughs> I need to I'm on, just very quickly to make a point. The problem, the biggest single hurdle for the lady you're trying to be helpful to is that if she goes to Google – and she puts just two words, help outs and Obix. <laughs> she will find me. But what is she going to do next? Well, we've and got 30-year-olds. You know, we, we have, we have uh, kids booking sessions, so maybe they can I book know. sessions for the but, grandparents. But, hey, excuse me, Sasha. <laughs> kids are a lot smarter than 65-year-olds. Uh, <laughs> you know what are you saying? Is that as an excuse? <laughs> no, it's not an excuse, <laughs> Sasha. <laughs> That's what I'm really well, saying. It, if you, uh, Tasha, if you grew up with a computer market. when you were four years old, rather than a pen and paper, your computer knowledge would be. I'm sorry, I'll shut up. <laughs> well, well, well said, Ovace. Well said. <laughs> Ovace, yeah, I, I think fundamentally. Ovace, Ovace, Ovace I, I've got children, and why do you think I hate them? <laughs> 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 Spoken like a father. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Back to Ramon. <laughs> well, you know, I, I guess I'm. I, I guess I'm just wanting to chime in and say, hey, you know, we we're at the we're at the pioneering stage of something uh, that's pretty amazing, and I think that um, the bigger picture here is that right now you can literally uh, help people. Uh, literally all over the world. I mean, I, I've talked to people in the UK. I've talked to people in Australia. I haven't talked to one to anyone, uh, for example, in, in Africa yet, or or in in, in Asia. Talk to someone in India. Uh, it's amazing to me that we have literally the the basis in our hands of being able to uh, build a business that earns from anywhere uh, in the world. Uh, by helping people uh, anywhere in the world, and I think it's I think it's li like right now we have a unique opportunity to figure out what actually works within the context of our business model, and and like get really serious about that, and 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 not focus on like what's not developed yet or what's not working yet, but to say okay, how can I find a market that's going to be open to this? And how can I figure out the one little thing that works for me related to help out so that when Google improves this in, in six months, nine months, 18 months, 36 months, however long it takes, we've got, we've got a ton of reviews. We've, got, we, we've grown with the platform. And when it really goes mainstream, 
then we we blow up. It's like it's like the people who were, you know, in any platform initially who took the time to say, hey, you know what? There's a lot of stuff that's broke and it's not working, but I'm going to work it anyway. And 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 down the road, it was huge for them. And 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 that's the mindset that I think we've got to have as providers right now. And uh, I think if we do that, we're going to be in a totally different place, and we're going to be glad that we did 36, 36 months from now. Absolutely. And I, I'm on record on uh, several posts saying exactly that. Uh, I mean, uh, if you look at my uh, anything like my website, et cetera, et cetera, it, it's a minor miracle why Google included me in the first 441. I'm still amazed by that. The point is, I'm still here because I think I'm on the ground floor opportunity of something that who knows six months or a year from now where it'll be, and I don't want to, you know, just walk away from it. I know I'm not gonna make any money from this for the next year or two. This is clear to me, and and most people, most users, and I'm talking to my friend in Britain here. I was lighting up a cigarette, but I can see you, buddy. The point is, don't think that this is going to be your significant income source for at least a year or two. Don't count on it. Don't quit your day job. <laughs> Those are wise words. And on um, that note, oh, sorry, just, okay, one say yes. So, 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 you know, in answer to obvious, uh, you're absolutely correct. We're we're discovering things. When you're discovering things, you're not going to just go to bang and hit it the nail on the head. It's not going to happen. The way things work with me is, I've run a good business on my own. Um, you know, I'm making good money out of it. I'm comfortable. I can afford to put the heating up if I want, etc. Whatever. It, it can get cold over here. Um, and um, basically, no. What it, what I found about helpouts. Uh, let me be quite blunt with people. Um, one is the lack of advertising. There's no direct link to helpouts on the Google main search page. When you even go to more and even click on even more. There is no icon to say help out. Yeah, it's not being promoted. Yeah, that's one of the biggest problems is help. And maybe that's a good thing because if you're a big company, and I'm very surprised how few big companies, there's only one in Britain called PC World, and they have a technical support team called Know How, and only they are the only big company that have used it to go. Now, as we're a big company, retail stores, we're also available on Google Help Helps. Yeah, it's a big selling thing. Okay. So what I'm hearing is, all right, early days, uh, Ramon says, you know, yes, it's, uh, there's a lot of work to be done, but if we, let's focus on the, the things that you can do to adapt to make the most of it in your business now, and then 36 months down the line when it's a mainstream platform and everything is amazing, then you'll have the experience and you also have shaped the platform in a way if you're giving feedback. And I'm hearing from other people, yeah, there's, you know, it's challenging, but we're in here for a reason, and we're in here because we are excited about the possibilities. We have these early successes and early challenges and early connections and early learning experiences and all of that. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. And if we keep on sharing the things that work for us and learning from the things that work from other, for other people, then who knows what we'll figure out together. So thanks for before, tuning in. Before you close, I'm going to make a 30 second <laughs> yes. comment here. Okay. Just look at the five people on this particular group. I am just absolutely tickled pink to just know you four or five people because look at us how different we are and we're having a Friday night conversation and we're having fun <laughs> that alone is worth it for me thank you I think that's the biggest success of help ads for me so far a great community and thank you all for being part of it thank okay, you Sasha guys. I have pleasure Sasha. thanks again for joining us Sasha. all right yep. before, before people go I want to mention is that they should definitely be aware um, on the help outs providers page in the community to have access to your notes. Your your notes are an amazing way to uh, come up to speed quickly for new providers or people who want to review summaries. So make sure you take a look at that. That's a real beautiful asset you provide.
And speaking of that, I will plug the URL. Go to helpershelpout.com, no exclamation mark, because uh, that's weird. But helpershelpout.com, and you will find the notes there as well. Awesome. All right, I'm going to stop the broadcast. Thanks for listening. If you guys want to hang out and debrief afterwards, feel free to stick around. Bye. Okay. Bye.